Hi Springboard. We're back here with another activity. Today we're going to make rainbow water. I'm here with my co-host Blake who's going to help me out today. So before we get started, here's what I'd like you to do. Create a chart. It's a simple tea chart and on one side I want you to label it stayed the same. On the other side, you're going to label it changes. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk through this activity and we're gonna create a list of all of the things that we keep the same as we go along and the pieces that we change. So you ready to get started? Yeah. Okay, so here's what we need to get started. We need four glasses. We need one kind of tall glass. You can really get creative with this. Um, I just happen to have this vase at home, but you know, you just need a, a taller glass that'll be able to hold something. Um, a cup, um, a measuring cup, measuring spoon, some sugar, a regular spoon, and four different food colorings, and a turkey baster. So we are gonna start with the food coloring first. So Blake, can you please help me add in some food coloring? Yeah. So I want you to put some food coloring in the jar. I'll have you do the yellow and the red. That one's yellow. Let's add a little more so it's really strong yellow color. Go ahead, add some red to this one. Okay, so, so far, Blake, would you agree that in our four cups, other than the color of food coloring that we chose, so far everything's the same, right? We have only food coloring in each one of our cups, right? Yeah. The only thing is different is what? Uh, which, well. which color they are, right? So now it's time to add the sugar. So we're gonna start with our blue cup, with our blue food coloring. So in our blue food coloring, what we're going to do is add some sugar. And we are gonna actually not put any sugar in the blue food coloring. So I misspoke there, I'm gonna put that aside. In the green one, we are going to put four tablespoons of sugar. So go ahead and take this. Let's get good full tablespoons, trying not to make a mess. There you go, and we're gonna put four in here. One. One. Two. Three. And four. Very good, okay. Now we're gonna move to our red food coloring. In here, I want you to put six tablespoons of sugar. Okay, so if we have no food coloring here, we've got four tablespoons here, we've got six here, let's go eight here. Ready? One. Well, we gotta make sure they're all even. Let's add a little more sugar to our bowl here, okay? You dump that in while I get some more sugar. One. Okay, perfect. Let's set this aside now. So Blake, what is different about these cups? Well. So they're the different colors. Is there any sugar in here? No. No, there's no sugar in here. Is there some sugar in here? Yeah. We have four, right? Yeah. Is there more sugar in this one? Yes. And is there the most sugar in this one? The most, that's right. So each one of our cups, the piece that we changed is how much sugar is in the cup. So you're gonna to wanna to write that down on the change. This is what changed. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add one cup of water to each one of these, okay? And after that, uh -oh. we're gonna put some food color in. And when we are done, you're going to fill. You're going to be finished. Do we get to taste this? No, you never want to taste stuff when you're doing science experiments. All right. So now... <clears throat> So now that we have the food coloring and the sugar added to each one of them, we are gonna stir them very gently. We don't wanna splash water all over the place. 
but we're going to stir just gently. Okay. And what we want to do is try and dissolve all of the water, all of the sugar into the water. So you want to stir it gently until you see that all of the sugar, you can no longer see sugar particles in there. So the next part is going to be to use the turkey baster and our tall glass. So what we're actually gonna try and do is create a rainbow in our jar of, of our different colors. You may need to use the spoon to help offset the colors. So I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So let's go ahead and suck up a little bit of the yellow. We'll start with yellow. Can you help me? Yeah. This is the part where I hope it doesn't end up all over my kitchen. Let's do, let's do another two. Or another one so we have a total of two in there so squeeze it all the way all right now let's go slowly so it sucks them up all right so we have our yellow let's set that one aside can you go ahead and move your hand just so everyone can see the yellow in there move your hand a little to the side so we can see the yellow okay i'm actually going to use the red to vary the, the, the spoon in the red so that we don't squirt it in. So what we want to do is very gently, the very gently. All right, this is take two because the first time we didn't do it really gently, so it mixed all of our colors. So we're gonna try it again. So we're gonna take our red and we are going to very gently trickle it in. We have separate right here. What are you seeing happening, Blake? It's separating. All right, let's try and see if we can get the green. What do you think is gonna happen now? I don't know. I don't know either. Let's see what happens. Okay, we're gonna go really slow. Do you see anything? Green. Do you see it? Is it separating or no? No. Yes, it is. It is. Is it? Yes. No way. Actually, let me let this way turn black. It turned brown. So it doesn't look quite green, but. Okay, let's even go with the blue. Does look a little brown. All right, so what happened here? What do you see, Blake? So we definitely have some color separate here, didn't we? Yeah. Now it doesn't necessarily look like red, yellow, green, and blue. We kind of had some of the mix, mixing here. So at this point, we put the yellow in, we put the red in, we put the green in, and then we topped it off with the blue. Now, what we're seeing is, is the middle kind of created a little bit of a muddy color, but if you get down on a level, bend down, can you see the different colors? Yeah. See how we made a rainbow out of the water? Yeah. Thanks for joining us for Rainbow Water Experiment today. You can find some more information at brainpop.com backslash matter and chemistry backslash measuring matter. Use the username spring-ford and the same thing for the password, spring-ford. Thanks, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.